mighty and wonderful. Just uh, if you feel led, just come on up. We just want to lay, lay hands on you. And uh, just just want to lay, lay hands on you. Richard, when I was worshiping before, while everybody was down at the river, I felt a real anointing for healing here tonight. Yeah, that's awesome. Because our us, okay, we didn't get that far. Yeah, because the, the Lord, thank you. Yeah, just, oh. just come on. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. see this, this, this thing of people being isolated. I mean, I mean, we really contact the love of God through one another, right? And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I know what it's like to go long periods of time without connection. Right? And it is good. And the scripture says that that basically who can who can heal or mandate despondent spirit? Who can live with that? Right? And so part of the per, part of the uh, per, per perspective is is that he just wants us to know that we can encounter him through one another. Yeah. I understand it, you know, because you know we're, we're 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 opening up to one another on a deeper level, right? Right? We need to do that. We need to be able to open up in safe places. We got really good news for you because I know the heart of this woman. You don't have to be religiously perfect or always ceremonial clean. <laughs> you don't have to have the perfect offering when you're coming. You just have to have something in your hand. The Lord just wants you to know about the rulership that He's called you to. See, and I see wheat fields being given to you. Wheat fields and a harvest that are that are given to you. See, and the only one that can say no to that is you. Papa will never say no to that for you. But I do want you to, I want to exhort you with something, young yeah, man, that the clock is ticking. And his hand is heavy on your, on your way. And I see you in the spirit being split in two and almost cut down the middle. And there's a part of you that is curious and wondrous about God. And there's a part of you that just wants to run. But he wants you to know he'll take you as you are. He'll love you as you are. In fact, he'll make and shape you and mold you into something. I, well, I, I, I see upon you the the uh, envelopes of a uh, of a of a colonel and a general. And the Lord says, if you will just just yield to him just a little, he'll take you through the ranks. He'll teach you to be a buck private. He'll teach you to be a grunt. He'll teach you to have rulership over the small. And then bring you in the places of maturity where you would be a captain. And the Lord says you're not destined to hide in a closet and you're not destined to hide out alone. But you're destined to be seen and you're destined to be heard. See, on your, on your shirt, you have the Death Star. I just want you to know something, that anything that the enemy devises cannot resist the power of God. See, all it takes is one straight shot with the word of God, and the most powerful things of the enemy are defeated and broken. The Lord wants you to know that he will battle fear with you. You're not going to fight it alone. You'll step out. See, there's a part of you that just, hey, I don't want to really be different. I kind of want to blend into the wall. But you're not designed to blend into the wall, and you're not at all designed to be like your peers. But you see, the, the, the glory of all this is, and the power of all this is that God gives you the choice. No one is putting pressure upon you tonight, but I want you to be aware of what he has destined you for. And I saw the fields that God has called you to. They're amazing. In fact, I was looking for borders, and I don't even see any borders to them. It's just how far, how far do you want to go with him? 
And the Lord says, do you want to live a natural life or do you want to live a supernatural life? Ooh, super. See, you can have a choice. You can have a natural life and go along with what everybody says and does and the winds blow here and there. And just the Lord just wants you to know, if you choose that, you will be blown here and there. But it's if you choose to be something different that he gets in your boat and he gets you to a desired habitation. The Lord wants you to know that he also mixes the supernatural with the natural. I don't know what your talents are, and I don't know what, to, what, what deposits God has given you, but those that are close to you know what they are. And God can begin to use those as stepping stones for your life. And so, Lord, we just declare, Lord, your goodness and your faithfulness over him, everything that you are, Jesus.